all right guys welcome back to another video of shaman j wow it has been a ride as you can see my factory wheels are back on the car now this kind of wasn't by choice but let me explain what happened um so i plan on driving this car a little more this car is i don't know how many months old i've had it for at least a half a year now i don't know and i've only got 1700 miles on it so i decided i'm gonna go ahead and start pushing this thing down the road some so me and my wife were out at dinner one time and um I was feeling a little bit of vibration in the front, and I said, ah, right, you know, let me get this checked out. So I went home, and I saw that the front reel on the driver's side was a little damaged. Not too bad. So I was going to take them to get them balanced and everything. So I go to the garage, jack the car up, put the wheels back on, take the factory wheels out of the storage, get the 22s off, and I get down to taking the wheels off. And lo and behold, this rear wheel right here was on so tight because I didn't initially put these on by hand. They were done with these guys I hear are just go crazy with an impact gun. So that rear wheel right there got stuck. So this car sat with 122 on the back and the other three wheels on it for over a week probably. Now granted, I don't drive this car every day so it wasn't really an issue. And I have access to my truck and other vehicles in the house but it was a little frustrating. So. Turns out I had to take this car in. I took it to every shop I could think of. Wheel and tire shops didn't want to touch it. That real world back there, they didn't want to damage my 22 is what it is. I don't think they wanted to be liable. And also they just didn't want to mess with taking off a stuck uh, stud on the acorn on there, a lug nut. So um, after taking it to like eight different places, I said, screw this, I'm going to call the dealer. Yo, the dealer hooked me up, son. They actually... Got the car all in there. They, I left it overnight with them. Two of the lugs were stuck on the back. I, I was able to get through it, but two lugs were stuck on there. Through the factory wheel in the back. These guys had to torch the lug to get it off. And they gave me a new gave me new studs. Had to remove the rear axle just to get all just to get this off. And man, I saved so much money by going to the dealer. Yes, I had to pay to get it off, but it was nowhere near what other places were saying. And it wasn't as much as I'll just say this. It wasn't, the wheel cost more than the work to get that done. It was pretty much all labor. So I came out good because the wheel is somewhat damaged, but not damaged like you would think. And all the wheels are still good. It's just that rear wheel down here on my 22, the, the one where they had to torch it out. I just need to get that refinished and buffed out or polished, you know, like sanded out, grinded down and smoothed back out basically. But I will say this, after driving with this car like this, here's... And some of you guys are going to say, oh, I, I could have told you that. Well, I'm not looking for people to say, oh, I like your car. That's not why I drive this car. I drive this car because this is, a, this is my fifth Camaro. I've always liked the Camaros. I've never had a convertible. Well, here's the thing. When I have my 22s on here, it seems like it, it's just a strange. Let me see. It's strange. When I have my 22s on here. It seems like everybody said, nice car, but... And they were always comment on the wheels, right? I put these factory wheels back on here. And let me tell you, folks, even in driving through my own community, my own neighborhood, they're like, oh, man, nice Camaro. I'm like, what the frick? It is so strange how people love this look better than the 22s. And now that I've been driving it, I mean, I haven't driven it a lot, but I have driven it maybe two times. This it's actually, this is my second time driving it since I got the wheel fixed uh, last week or whatever. <sighs> I like it. It just looks more muscle car like, even though it's a convertible, it still looks freaking crazy good, man. Because the thing is, um, so my, I never, I never drove this car with these wheels on it for more than a week. I bought this car. And then I dropped it off to get the interior tent and got the wheels ordered and cut. And that's how it was since the beginning. You might have seen the video staggered out a little bit, but that was all done really fast. I mean, within the first, I'll say within the first, pardon the wind, it's really windy out here. Within the first three weeks of owning this car, all that work was done. Yeah. When I, when I have a car that I want to de uh, deck out or do something to, I just friggin' do it. I just do it. There's no need to wait and do all this other fancy stuff to it. But folks, I got to tell you, I have actually been enjoying this look myself. These factory wheels and tires are brand new, man. So I polished them up myself. I got to wash it again. I, it sat 
for a little bit because it was in the rain at the dealer. And that was the first time that this car has ever seen rain. It really was. So I polished it up after I got back, after it sat in the rain overnight or whatever, and they fixed it. I got it the next day. I, um, I took it home the next day when the sun, I took it home that day and the, and the next day the sun came out. So I polished it up and it was freaking great. And every t everywhere I drive now, it's so strange. I hear people yelling out, oh man, nice Camaro. I'm like, what the freak? It's like, some of my neighbors is like, yo man, nice car. I was coming home the other day and a guy and little kids were, it was around school time. All these little kids are out there, their parents, they're like, yo man, nice Camaro. I'm like, you know, we're neighbors, right? I, I know you've seen me before. Maybe they think these are the custom wheels because I had taken it to one of those shops and the guy thought that these were the custom wheels. He was like, oh my God, man, I love your wheels. And I was like, what the, what the heck? But everything is still good. Casket and leather still intact, breaking in nicely. Um, it's, a, it's a whole new look for me. It's so strange that it, it appears the factory look is the look that I guess turns heads. That's kind of strange to me, but um, this factory look turns heads, I guess, man. I don't know, man, I, I don't know. But I love this look now. So I won't be putting my 22s back on. I went ahead and left them in storage. I'll get them fixed later. I'm not worried about it, but I also thought about, so one of the last videos I posted, I was like, you know, hey, I wanna put five grand into my motor. Folks, after driving this car for a little bit, it's kind of like, Yo, this is more than enough power for me. I'm not getting ready to drag race this thing. It's it's a beautiful car as is. And I learned that after going through that little debacle with my wheels. And again, I'm not I am not I didn't buy this car for people to tell me it's clean. I know it's clean. I bought it. I I, I know a good looking car when I see it. But this is just this is just a beautiful look right here. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this front end. I love it. It's just so clean. <laughs> that is just a beautiful thing. So yeah, man, um, I, uh, I'll be keeping the factory wheels on. I mean, these factory wheels are brand new, man. I literally had the, I, I took them off as soon as I bought the car. I really did, folks. Um, I like to stagger the videos out sometimes, but a lot of the work that you look at sometimes, especially with this car, uh, in my other truck that I had customized, that stuff was done quickly. Like I just drop it off and get it out of the way. But I'm really liking this Camaro, man. It's like I, it's like I have a new car all over again. It's so strange. It's it's just weird how people notice this car now. It it I can't put it into words. But I'll say, folks, uh, I'm pretty excited to finally get to drive my car again. It was down for a little bit of time. And I was kind of mad about that, 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 you know, and I didn't blame anybody but myself. I went to the garage, I took off all the wheels and I got to that last one and it was on so tight, it got stripped. So that's how I ended up getting stuck on there. But it's over now and I got my factory wheels back on here and this thing looks good, man. I've never looked at this car like this for long. Uh, even the other videos that I put out, even when it was in the garage, I just didn't, I just didn't give it a chance with these factory wheels. But I really like it, man. So if I do buy some more wheels, which down the line maybe I will, I'm waiting for the update on the 24 Camaro. That's something that uh, I think we're all waiting to hear about because I told the guy, uh, I told, I told the, my my person at the dealer that I deal with, I said, hey, listen, if the 24 is any different than this, I'm gonna trade this in and buy it. And, and it was like, yeah, come on. And I'm going to get another convertible too. Now, I know that hopefully the prices aren't too high. I've been hearing some numbers and it's just pretty much different badging and stuff like that, like limited edition. Because the 24 is supposed to be the last one. But I think it's just going to be badges. And then I'm hearing that the body of the device is going to be a little wider. So I don't, I don't know how true that is, but the dimensions are a little different. But if this is it and it looks like this and just has like a different name on it or some kind of badging inside like if, if, it's, if the body is the same i don't think i'm going to get rid of this unless they come out with a color or something that's just going to be so spectacular that you know it's just going to be mind-blowing and you know but you can get cars wrapped now so i'm trying to get out the wind um but i don't think that i'm going to get rid of this one if it's that if it's not that much difference it just it's not worth it you know i got this car is is 
just phenomenal. So, um, yeah, man, I want to give you an update. I'm, I'm so happy that I'm, I'm able to push this car out. And, you know, the car feels lighter, obviously. Those wheels. It's funny, the guy who was working on... I love these taillights. I never really looked at my car enough. You know, I just get in the car, drive off it. <laughs> but the guy who was... Um, putting the wheels in and he was like god man those 22s are heavy and i only have one he only had to do one on the other side and take it off and put it on and he was like yo these wheels are heavy and now that the factory ones are back on here man they just the car seems a little bit more nimble it's really really nice it's, it's nice i like it so i'm gonna get out of here man um the car's back to factory with the tires that is still loving it got about 1700 miles on it now Oh, I did the first oil change too. Uh, I think I talked about that in the, in the other video. I went on ahead and did an oil change because um, maybe that's why it feels a little bit better too. Because the factory oil that was in there, even though I've had this car for months, like six months or something like that, seven months, I'm not sure. Even though I've had it that long, it's been a while since I had this car. Um, I bought it last year sometime, I'm not sure. But um, even though I've had that this car that long, I only had low miles on it, but the oil is still the oil. So I went on ahead and did an oil change now. I just decided to go ahead and do an oil change on it. Uh, and get that knocked out so first oil change is done and that's that so it's your man jay gonna get out of here man this is like i have a new car all over again it's so strange you ever had that feeling when something's not new no okay okay all right let's be clear this is a new car still <laughs> it doesn't matter how long i had it i only got 1700 miles on this thing and um yeah my nice little weekend cruiser but i think i'm gonna start putting this thing on the highway because it just got phenomenal fuel economy so we'll talk about that in another video once i give you like a a, a longer update on it man but down the line but hopefully the 24s are and pardon the wind i know the wind is probably killing this video <laughs> but um hopefully the 24s are different so i can grab a 24 convertible and i'll probably stick with this same color unless they bring out some crazy color that's just gonna be crazy just super sick other than that, if they do have the 24s and they're a, a different body style at all, I'll probably grab a 24. But for now, I am enjoying this thing because the rumors of mill is turning for the 24s. And I think it's going to be really nice. So for now, I am loving my convertible LT1. Factory wheels back on. Man, this thing looks great. It's your man, Jay. If you guys enjoyed, sorry for the wind. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.